So dear student, up to now we have learned that how the normal electrical activity in the heart produces different cardiac vectors and how the normal cardiac vectors produce the normal ECG pattern, right? Let's recap it and then we'll talk about different waves, segments and intervals. Let's suppose that this is a typical ECG. Let's suppose this is a typical ECG pattern, right? First we relate the different parts of the ECG with the cardiac events, right? Suppose this is your heart. Now, this is P wave. The cause of P wave is atrial, yes please, atrial depolarization, right? So this is the atrial depolarization, right, which is related with the P wave. So what is the significance of P waves? Atrial depolarization. Then we come to, what is this? ST segment, isoelectric line, a straight line between the, at the end of the P wave and beginning of the QRS complex. The straight line, right, which is called ST segment, that signifies an other cardiac electrical event and that is when current is passing through, yes, AV node. When current is passing through the AV node. You remember I told you when current is passing through AV node, electrical activity is so small that it is not detected by the electrodes and due to that reason needle does not fluctuate. And as paper is passing through a steady needle or neutral needle, a straight line is drawn, right? So this was the second electrical event in the heart that current from the atria passing through the AV node towards the ventricle. Is that right? And this straight line is signifying the conduction of the cardiac impulse through the AV node. Then we come to QRS complex, right? So we have these are three waves, so we have to make three heart signifying three electrical activities. Right. Now, Q wave tells the onset of spread of depolarization current in the ventricle. As you know, that first of all, this is the ventricular septum which undergoes depolarization. And Ventricular septal depolarization is a small vector which is moving upward and yes, rightward. Is that clear? And this is, this vector is making which wave? Yes, please. Q wave. Is that right? Then once the ventricular septum is depolarized, the next event is major ventricular depolarization. And during the major ventricular depolarization, a very powerful electromagnetic vector is made, right? Which is directed downward and leftward, right? This is the vector of major ventricular, yes, major ventricular depolarization, right? And this vector, because it's a strong vector, so it makes a very strong wave and because it is moving towards the positive electrode, so there is upward deflection and it is fast vector, so there is a sharp wave, right? So we can say this electrical event is responsible for which wave? R, R wave. You must know how to define QRS. In QRS complex, the first negative wave is called Q and after the first negative wave, whichever positive wave is there, that is called R. And after the positive wave, if there is if there is another negative wave, that is called S. Is that right? Of course, once septum is depolarized, you get the Q wave. When major ventricular depolarization is there, you get R wave. And when there is, yes, this is the next wave, when there is basal ventricular depolarization. What is this? Yes, basal ventricular depolarization, the last part of the ventricle to be depolarized. Right? And they lead to which type of? Yeah. 
wave. What is this wave called? S wave. Is that right? Then the next electrical event is that the whole ventricle is now completely depolarized. Whole ventricle is now, yes, completely depolarized. I mean septum is depolarized. Major part of ventricles are also depolarized and basal part of ventricles are also depolarized. Is that right? In action potential, QRS complexes QRS complexes with onset of spread of ventricular depolarization. But at this, this straight line is called ST segment. During the ST segment, all the myocardial cells are depolarized. Is that right? They are passing through plateau phase. And rapid repolarization stage is yet not there. Is that right? Due to that reason, when all the myocardial cells in the ventricles are completely depolarized, there is no movement of the current. So there is no vector, electrical vectors present. So nothing to, to be recorded by the electrodes. So what happens? That ECG machine needle does not fluctuate, it remains neutral. And as paper is moving under it, it makes a straight line. At the end of the straight line, what really happens? Suddenly, there is beginning of ventricular repolarization. Right, the next event is the beginning of ventricular repolarization. Okay, let me make the ventricle little bit thicker to show how the repolarization start. And what was this? During the plateau phase. Now, we are going to talk about this wave, from where the T wave comes. Actually, the onset of T wave tells you there is beginning of ventricular repolarization. Right? And if you remember that when ventricles are completely depolarized, when ventricles are completely depolarized, the repolarizing current starts from outer. Yes, this green is the repolarizing current. Repolarizing current is development of electronegativity that cells repolarize back to the negative polarity. Is that right? This is electronegativity or repolarization, right, which is spreading from outer myocardium towards the inner myocardium. Because repolarizing currents move in this direction from outer to inner myocardium, this is the repolarizing current. So their net vector is like this. This is the vector of repolarizing current. And of course, it's there is no spread of positive charges, rather there is loss of positive charges that is potassium from the cells and there is development of electronegativity in the cell. So head of the vector is electronegative. And now negative charges are moving towards the negative electrode. So deflection will be positive. But repolarization is a gradual process. So needle will move post positive side but gradually. So it will not make a sharp wave, it will make a slow wave. Right? So now you know the T wave is representing the, or it is representing which activity? Yes, please. Ventricular repolarization. This represents ventricular repolarization. Is that clear? Now, if there is a one ventricular cell, let's replay. It's this, this is one ventricular cell, right? For example, this is single cell which represents all the ventricular activity. Let's correlate these ventricular waves and segments, right, with the electrical event. During the QRS, what is happening to the ventricular